The acupressure points for the lower back on either side of the spine. If you feel on your back for your vertebral column, which is your spine, the bony part, on either side of that is a bulk of, of muscle or soft tissue, and that's your erecti spinae. That's where the acupressure points for lower back pain reside. There's a couple of ways you can work into this. Either you can bring your arms behind your back if you have the mobility and do circular kneading into this area, 10 circles and then moving up to the meridian. If you can't get enough pressure that way, you can use knuckles and if you have the mobility in your shoulders, press into those areas, bringing them together. That's also a very powerful release for the area, which is uh, a more advanced technique from the first one. And the last way to affect that area is using a tennis board. You would lie on the tennis board and allow it to release that area. To demonstrate that, I'll show you. You can use a tennis ball for this, but if that's too soft, you can progress to a lacrosse ball, a hockey ball, or a cricket ball, which are a lot firmer and have a lot less give. You'd find that same point, so going either side of the spine, place the ball into that area, and lie back onto the tennis ball in this example. You would then lift up your hips if you want to put some pressure onto that area or lie back down into the ball whichever gives you more pressure onto the lower back. You want to hold as much as you can tolerate and the pain level should be around 7 out of 10 in terms of the uncomfortableness of lying on the ball. You hold that for a minute, roll off and then move the ball further up the meridian to the next acupressure point. You do this on both sides of the lower back. As you go higher up, you will need to bridge in order to get pressure on the area. Bridging is when you lift up your hips to allow pressure to focus in, focus in on that area of the lower back.